morning. Uh, I don't know what the date is, is it? 20th, 19th, something like that. Maybe the 20th today, March. And uh, I was on this field yesterday, just down there. I dug up that beautiful Roman silver. First sweep, can't believe it. And we've done this field several times. Uh, so it's just giving me some encouragement to get back out. You can see the old dig holes here, there, there, and more up there. But uh, uh, David done this bit. I can't explain it, but the 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 plow lines are this way up to here. The plow lines are that way. No, up to here. It, this is the plow lines. Brought my little friend Mikey with me lot, and then the plow lines go uh, at a different angle. So. I know David's done this fairly well, but I don't know, got a feeling, I don't think it was done that well. Um, I know David went up and down a couple of times, found a few nice bits. So I think I'm going to start uh, and I'm going to do this bit where the ply lines run that way. So, so off to a good start. Um, I've only done about 30 metres, if that, 25 metres. And I can see it. I got 85 signal and I can see it right there. Look, there it is. So one shovel full and it's out. Beautiful. Uh, that's probably a three or a five kreutzer. So bloody good start. Um, so first it again, although there was nothing between here uh, and where I started. Very little. David's been over here and uh, he don't miss much. But maybe he just put his coil in the wrong place and ran over this and, and missed it. But that's a nice start. Probably a three kreutzer, 1800, 1812, something like that. Just had a, a signal there, 50, 55, right at the side of the road lot. And uh, I've pulled this up and there's a pattern on it. Can you see that? And I'm not going to throw this away. But in fact, there's a, there's a, it's a pendant, I can see now. Because right where my finger is, I think there's a hole there for a string to go through. Right there, lot. Uh, and there's a beautiful pattern on it. I can't wait to see that cleaned up. So see what that is, that's quite a nice find that is, that will be beautiful when it's cleaned up. But unfortunately half of it's missing by the looks of it. I got this signal bouncing all over the place and it said deep. Anyway I wasn't sure so I thought I'd better dig it and this is what I've come up with look. Now can you see there's a lump on there, that's metal. Uh, and that side's pretty flat so I'm wondering if that's a nail, if it is that's a huge head on there. And I can only assume that might be Roman. I, that might be worth keeping, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Had a 50 signal and something's popped out right there. I don't know, I got a feeling it's a buckle. But I'm wrong. I don't know what that is. It's not a buckle, it's too thin. I'm going to save that though, because it's brass or bronze. Just clean it up, you never know. So this one rang in the 70s, I can see it right there, look. I haven't touched it, but it looks a bit silverish to me. It's not though. No. <laughs> okay, it's aluminium. But it's a coin, and it's too, too hella or too grossing, I think. So it'd be 1940s or 50s, that. Probably 50s. Okay, everyone, I've had two hours. I'm going to grab Mikey, who's over there, back in the car and back home because uh, I've got dinner to cook and then after that I'm going to fill this video in with something else that I'm going to do in my garden. I'm going to build a pond. I'm going to base it on a design by Pond Guru. Now, if you don't know who Pond Guru is, then I suggest that you take a look at this guy's channel. He does metal detecting. He does survival stuff, you name it, this guy can do it. And he also builds ponds for a living. I've actually saved one of his videos and I'm going to base my pond and, and um, build it the way that he does it. That way I know I will do it right. But I need rocks, big rocks, which I've got. I'll show you them when I get home. And I need boulders like this. And I know where there's tons and tons and tons of them on a field. So I'm going to take Jesse and Mikey after we've had dinner, and I'll film it for you where we're filling up buckets of these these boulders which I'll ne need to build the pond. So I said I'd show you. Now you can see all these stones here. I got these free of charge. 
they're all free of charge all the way down here and I just need some of those boulders now because what we're going to do we're going to put a pond in here and before there used to be a tree there and uh, I got somebody to dig it out the tree root which is there it's that one and uh, and it filled it up with old branches uh, and I weren't here and I said to Alice don't let him fill up the branches so and it sunk there so we've decided to dig it out and we'll put the pond in here and that's where we'll put it and we'll use those stones there because we're going to build up like a, a, a rockery here and, and have a waterfall down it and we'll need some of those small boulders so Jesse's coming with me this afternoon and we're going to get the boulders after I made the dinner they're over there they're working in the garden look and they're doing stuff there look I'm putting plants over there uh, this is looking a right mess at the moment but I will sort it out we've got a brand new swing chair there in the box I've got to build that yet so there we go beautiful day and this is the field I was telling you about Jesse's come with me and we want boulders like this look not smaller than that so I've got a couple of buckets in the car and this field's full of them they're all over the place look big ones small ones and we're going to get a couple of buckets which I've put in the back here there you go there's the buckets to pick them up with uh, and we've got these these things I'm going to leave that there right and fill that one up so when you fill your buckets up come here and put it in there quick round up huge roman nail three kreutzer probably 1800 1812 two groschen i think or two heller i'm not sure two groschen i think and this uh pendant thing which is not going to turn out very good because if you try to bend it straight it's just going to break i don't know what that is and i think that might be a part of that so that's all there is i'll take some photos before cleaning and after and i'll show you So let's have a look at what we've got then. And now I can tell a bit better. Now it's all cleaned up. Some people cuss me for cleaning it up, but what's the point in leaving it dirty if you can't identify it? So that's my theology on it anyway. So that is, and I'll take a picture in a minute, it's a three Kreutzer, and as I said, 1800 or 1812, you see the two zeros there. And the one eight's on that side, so eighteen hundred three Kreutzer, as I said. And look how that's cleaned up. I told you that was a pendant, and it says Deutsches Meister Tag. That means German Master Day. Okay, and then I've just got I N in there. So, but it looks like Franz Josef there. And look at this. I did find another piece that was totally separate and it looks about the same as that and guess what there's a date on it look and it would fit with it so 1908 so that's probably a piece of that 99.9% .9 sure so that date may be down at the bottom something like that 1908 so that's identified that so 1800 Kreutzer 1908 pendant and this, I know what this is now, I've opened it up and cleaned it up. It's a hinge of some description. So it would have been a hinge, I guess. Uh, and then I got the two, the two groschen there. What year is on that? I don't know, let's have a look. But I'll take some photographs, still photographs, and I'll put them up with all the others. So, thanks for watching. 1962, does that say? I think that says that there. Anyway, thanks for watching, take some stills and catch up with you in a bit.